All right, let's talk about number eight, assigning profile modifiers if necessary. What is a profile modifier and when it is necessary to apply it? The profile modifier, it is a trigger what lets the take-up group mainly know that it is something different uh, between this profile and the detail where this profile goes on. Something different on the parts used or something different on the um, finishes, let's say. So let's look at something what we have here as an example. Uh, we already have a lot of profile modifiers on this model. We don't really have to use them if the family is ready and family is correct, but let's say something was changed on the model and your detail, it's a new detail, but you don't have a new profile match into this detail. So it is acceptable to use the profile modifiers just to let the take a group know that something is different either on the um, miscellaneous parts of this detail uh, of the profile or something like part wise is different. So let's look just on this detail, for example. We already know we're using the profile modifier on this gem. This is just a regular gem. And we're using this profile modifier. So we can look how this family actually looks. Uh, the family looks like this. It's a regular gem. How this looks on the detail, on the detail it looks like two verticals, scuffed on piece, so it does look different. It looks more like a door gem. This is why uh, drafting put the profile modifier for us. Just let us know that don't use actual this gem and use something else. So we will have to set it up in our data, make sure this thing will come in. Uh, another good example of the profile modifier, it's uh, when we have a door and just to give you some background on this model, this model is not ready for the takeoffs yet. I'm just using it because it's something we were checking um, it would be it wouldn't be so many uh, things going on this model kind of doesn't look good you can see it's a lot of profile modifiers and maybe some of them some of them will not be used because by the time when uh, it comes to the takeoff group Hopefully, they will be replaced with actual profiles, with actual families. You can see right now, it's a lot of profile modifiers already applied on this chart. Just by scrolling for your mullions, for your families what used on the model, you can see some stuff. So you see the model still has some temporary emollients, which uh, something we would have to talk to drafting. Or here, uh, the profile modifier was accidentally put on a card joint profile, which doesn't do anything, it's just a mistake. All right, so this is the good example of the use of the profile modifier, and we pretty much don't have uh, any other ways to do the units like this um, without doing the profile modifier. So you can see it's a door unit right here. This is one unit, this is another unit. Oh, sorry. So this is a door unit. And particularly here, we would need to have a scarf down piece 
attached to this vertical for this transition right here. But it is no way right now in the model to apply it. So what we do to just let us know, let the takeoff group know. So we basically would put the profile modifier here on this door family. Just let us know in the in the setup, just let us know that we do have something else attached to it. So it will be more tags drawn here and some extra stuff will come in. And it is pretty common use when you have like a step like this or something transitions like this to, and you have a scab done piece with runs only. Fortunately, you can, um, so you see it's, it's right here kind of, the unit actually steps down on the model. It's, it's like a flag unit, but we don't do flag units. We just do unit with the scab down piece. So this is very common use, very legitimate use of the profile modifier here. Um, another uses of the profile modifier would be common um, and also necessary. So let's say, it's not on this job, but let's say on the job, you would have this detail used and this profile, those two profiles um, used on, let's say an elevation when all of these parts are painted white and maybe on couple of elevation, this front piece, this front like extended cover, let's call it extended cover, is painted pink. It happens, <laughs> I guess. So to indicate it just for this piece, it's no really easy way to set it up because the profile, the family is correct. It's by, it's whatever parts you see is correct. But to let us know that something is different we would say we would use this family on the model and just in the locations where it's called pink we would add let's say modifier say pink so let's say this is this family and particularly just on this elevation or just on this floor just in this location for some reason uh this face stop needs to be different color from the, the rest of the job. And this is easy way for us to let us know in the takeoff group, don't forget to take this material as a different color eh, without kind of making any new family switch, really not necessary in this case. But otherwise uh, the families pretty much, most of the families here you see profile modifiers, they are, they could be actual families without profile modifiers. But for some reason, we just either didn't have, didn't have the actual families and we had to modify them. Uh, it, it happens on the doors a lot. And it's almost like I would say in cases, uh, for example, doors on this job, we can see this is the profile used on the job and we have a profile modifier and we're wondering why, why it's uh, different. So what's, what's the difference between this profile, actual profile on the server? So we can see here, this is the what's on the server. This is how this vertical looks like. This is what we would have in data set up for us, just using this general name. But over here it says profile modifier, please refer to this detail. And when we look at this detail, we can see that this door is swing in instead of swing out, like it was showing on the main profile. Basically let us know, yes, for fabrication it is something different. 
So usually we discuss those profile profile modifiers with drafting on our pre takeoff meeting. Also the phase one, phase three, the setup guys, they look at internet and see what needs to be done specifically for this job. Some profile modifiers, they are just fabrication related, so they're not really affecting the material takeoffs, but uh, we do want to apply them earlier so we have our units naming assigned earlier correct. Um, let's say the good example of something we would need to add on this job for fabrication. We have uh, the salivations with transitions over here. And it's nothing really wrong with it. This is just a regular jam. This is just a regular jam profile. It's everything is fine. So the material wise, uh, this gem is matching to the detail. It's nothing really, it's no differences. Everything is fine. And again, we have a, uh, just a regular stock joint. Again, it's nothing really, not big deal. But if you look at this, it says a transition here. And if it comes in just like this, it will be estimated just like a regular jam to build, which would bring us with the end then. And maybe we want to have it a little bit shorter. We want to probably align our stock head with the edge of the jam here. So two, in order to calculate it to make setup correct, we would need to put the profile modifier here on our head, on the head of this unit. And we probably for this profile modifier, we would talk with the setup team, uh, with the phase one and, or phase three, and just see like how do we want to name it? Because it's nothing really detail related on this profile modifier. We would need to give it some kind of um, special name, which I unfortunately don't know uh, what would be, what would be the, how would we name it standard here? But we also could just name it three on forward slash on 505, just kind of to assign something different, to say something different happens on fabrication here. All right, and uh, how would we do it? So I have this profile selected right now. You can see I have it already picked up. And it's very easy, you just go, you have a properties of this profile, of this family. And you just type it here. I'll just put three on 505. So we're using forward slash here uh, because it's more convenient for drafting. Just to let know for us, for the FAB, for the FAB team that something is different with this stack head. It's not gonna be there. We need to create slightly different roles for this particular situation, basically when vertical and this jam meeting, it's not exactly standard. All right.